Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be talking about taking advice. And I'll summarize this video with one simple question. Will you trade places with this person? The area you need advice on in your life, you ask yourself before taking advice from this person, will you trade places with this person you seek advice from? Because too many times you don't really know what's foiling the advice you are getting. Especially from sometimes from the people that you love or the people that love you. You don't know whether it's being foiled by fear. What evidence does this person show that makes you confident in the advice that they are giving you? Or their results? Would you extrapolate their results into your life? Are they qualified? Have they done this thing you want to do before? Are they knowledgeable enough in this field to lead you down a path? Sometimes, sadly, sometimes these things come in ways we don't know. It can come from like your parents. Your parents were career people all their life. What did they know about entrepreneurship? You want to start a business. How, how are you taking advice from your parents? <laughs> I'm going to give you career-based advice because you're successful in that field. They've never done entrepreneurship. How, why are you taking advice from them? It can, it can come in the form of people you love and people that love you and actually mean the best for you. But they're giving you wrong advice. Have they gone down this path? Have they knocked it out of the park in this aspect of your life? Some of you are asking your friends for advice if you want to start something. What evidence have your friend showed? Your friend has the best of intentions. Though. But what evidence have your friend showed that they, can, that, that they are qualified enough to give you advice? I've not done anything with your life. And I'm telling you, oh, I want to start um, this thing. And you are telling me, ah, guy, that thing is very hard, though. Tell somebody, ah, I want to work in CBN. They'll be like, ah, Nigeria, everything is connection, no. Ah, uh, you can't do, you can't work in CBN. Even you listen to it and be like, oh, okay. Has he worked in, does he know the way around CBN? Do, do, what, why are you taking that advice? <laughs> like, what do you, what, why are you taking that advice? Famous notion about not sharing your vision to people. Because obviously, some of them might be negative and some of them might just tell you, oh, uh, that's not possible, oh, Nigeria is hard, or, you know, whatever country you are in, this is what it is, it's very difficult to... If you are getting that type of response, you're sharing your ambitions to the wrong people. You're not, you're not priming your environment enough to have people that will, that have done this type of things before, very difficult things, in that manner or aspect, and can give you advice that will help you achieve your ambition because people will want to dictate what you're doing with your life As accepting the very horrible fact we are in a level we have friends that are in that level we want to level up some of them don't want you to go while there are those categories there are also other people you know people that actually mean the best for you in the way they think but it's not actually what's best for you because clearly they are seeing some they are seeing things from one perspective sometimes it can come from the heart something that didn't work for me does not mean it's not work for you but if you ask me i will give you based on my experience now i'll give you advice based on i say ah uh, guy i tried to date i tried to date that baby that be around me streets you understand but that doesn't mean the girl is a bad person it just probably means that was my experience with her you might go in there and that's your wife <laughs> you understand that's your wife so choose your areas of success prime the advice you take by looking at the results in those areas from the people you are seeking advice sharing your goals and seeking advice from the right people can put you miles ahead of so be it a poor man a rich man a married man a single man whatever it is nobody is really useless people some people are certainly successful in some aspects and some people are not as successful in other aspects of their life so you should always prime what type of advice you are taking from that aspect of their life so you categorize the way you take advice and I'm saying this because we need to learn how to advise people and how they advise us and we take their advice. Lots of people think because this guy has money, he knows all. But no, he doesn't. He shit at relationships, treats women like trash. No, that's not how it works. Yes, you can listen to that guy on how to make money because clearly that guy is well versed in that role. But doesn't mean everything he says is true. Your life, God is not all or he'll tell you some bullshit and you take it because he has money. No. You just categorize it. See, if you are rich, I want to make my results based on your financial this thing. So I will take on your financial habits, but I will not take on the other aspects because your results in those other aspects of your life is not something I want to extrapolate into my life. Thank you guys for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Thanks and God bless. Abiyanto.